Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm excited to bring a new product to you. It's Happy Models PPRX. It's a receiver for Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz RC link. I'm Jeff with Titan FPV and you're going to acquire some knowledge today. This is the ceramic antenna version. There's your antenna. Uh, this receiver is tiny. Um, it's about half the size of a Crossfire Nano receiver. It weighs 0.4 grams. Uh, I do have two of the um, EP1 and EP2 RX is coming as well. Uh, one of those has a ceramic antenna and the other has a um, T-style antenna. Um, those both have Wi-Fi capabilities. This one does not. Uh, you can only flash this via ST-Link or via Betaflight uh, pass-through um, with your flight controller. Um, this is uh, a new cutting edge link. Um, it's been out for a little bit of time here, but hasn't uh, gained much traction here until recently. Um, previously, you could flash an R9, uh, FR Sky R9 system to Express LRS. Uh, they did add support, I believe, for Emergent RC's Ghost. Uh, and more recently, Happy Bottle. Uh, has added a, a 900 megahertz as well as a 2.4 gigahertz system. I went with the 2.4 gigahertz system because I currently run Crossfire on the majority of my quads. And I'm just going to try this on micros uh, as another alternative. I, I don't know if I'm going to switch over. Uh, I can tell you um, if you are new to the hobby... Uh, I don't recommend Express LRS. Uh, it's currently in the development stages, uh, just beginning. There is a lot of support. They do have a Discord channel as well as a Facebook group. Um, they are very active and helpful. There's a lot of community members uh, that are working hard on this project. This is an open source project. Um, so, I mean, there's no charge for this. These, these dev developers are doing this um, uh, because of their love of the hobby. They're, they're giving back. So, um, definitely want to thank those guys. Appreciate that for all the work they've done. So yeah, but if you're new to the hobby, I, I don't recommend this. Something like Crossfire is, uh, going to be much more straightforward and user friendly. I couldn't get this, uh, receiver to flash with, um, the Betaflight pass-through on this. Uh, this is a JHEMCU, um, Play 4 flight controller. I couldn't find my ST-Link, so I... Uh, just wired it up to a spare uh, F7 flight controller I had, and I was able to update it successfully there. I'm not going to go over the ins and outs of that. We may cover that in another video if you guys want me to take a look at that. Um, but I was able to get it updated. You want your TX and RX to, to match, obviously. I did get the full-size RX. Somebody had worked up a slim mount for, my, or for the Tango 2. And I was able to modify that and uh, get it working there. It's still not really clean. Uh, I may mod the files some more. Uh, when I do so, I'll post a link here. Uh, but this is just kind of a quick look. I've uh, been really excited. It, it took, took me a bit of time to get this out. So, but we'll go through the flight footage. Um, I believe 250 hertz mode is currently supported. Um, on the Tango, uh, on the new versions of OpenTX and FreedomTX. Um, I believe you have to run nightlies. Uh, you can run um, 500 hertz. So that's ridiculous. But yeah, it's very responsive. I mean, 250 hertz is, is crazy responsive. Uh, 50 hertz does it for me, but I mean, it's something new we want to try out. Um, like I said, I believe it goes up to, it says 500 milliwatts. I didn't really try flying on 500 milliwatts. I maxed out at 250 milliwatts. Um, and I did try it on 10 milliwatts. Now I can tell you, 
I just fly them behind my house. Um, even in 50 hertz mode, um, I did almost get a fail safe. So um, this one does have the ceramic antenna. So, uh, you know, for um, space saving and weight saving, it's, it's amazing. You don't have to worry about running uh, mini mortal T to your arm and those mini mortal T suck anyway, let's be honest with it. Um, I just like to run the the base uh, crossfire antenna, the the whip antenna. But anyway, so uh, take a look at the footage, see what you guys uh, think about that. Um, this is my next build. Uh, it's an ultra lightweight. A um, few people have done similar things here, but this is a little bit different formula, like I said. Um, so this will be coming next to the channel here, but I wanted to uh, uh, upload this content there for Express LRS. It's uh, new stuff and really exciting. Uh, we'll cut to the footage and uh, catch you guys in the next one.